For a couple of months now, you guys have been asking me to break down the crazy hybrid picked intro lick from Octopus Has No Friends by Mastodon. And now that I figured out, I can see why you guys were having trouble with it. It's one of the most confusing Mastodon riffs I've ever learned. Check it out. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new installment of Weekend Wang Shop with your good buddy, Uncle Ben. I'll tell you guys what, I figured out a lot of Macedon songs over the years, but the intro to Octopus Has No Friends here is one of the most challenging ones I think I've ever tried to figure out. The speed of it, the use of all the open strings, and there's a lot of doubled up unison notes and stuff here make it a nightmare to transcribe. I've seen a whole bunch of different tabs and lessons on how to play this intro, and I can safely tell you guys that all of them are wrong. Most people have you going down here to the second position to play some of the notes, but if you watch any live footage of Mastodon playing this song, you'll notice Brent just sitting in one spot around the fourth, fifth, and sixth frets. It is a major pain in the ass to play, so before we get into it, let's hear it again at stepdad speed. As always, you can find a full tab for this week's lesson over on my Instagram page, so be sure to go over and find me at Ben Eller Guitars. Give me a follow, find the tab for this week's lesson, learn how to play it, then upload a video of yourself shredding through it, along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. Okay, for starters, the tuning of this song is drop C tuning, which you can think of as being like drop D, but down a whole step. So be sure to tune your guitar C, G, C, F, A, D from low to high. Okay, this intro part is made up of two different licks on your top three strings of your guitar. So let's start breaking down that first one here. So we're going to play the fifth fret high E string, pulling off to open. Followed by the fourth fret B. And then what I'm going to do is to go back to the open high E string. So now you have this. After this, play that fourth fret B, this time pulling off to open. And then play your 6 on your G, 4th B, so now you should have this. I'll do that again, and try to let those notes really ring into each other. And then we enter into the second half of this lick here. What you're going to do is to have your ring finger anchored down on that 6th fret G. You're going to pick that note, hit your open B, and hammer it on to 4, like this. Then you're going to do that same move again. So 6G, open B, hammer to 4. So now you've done that two times. Play the 6G again, then the open high E. Put it all together, it should sound like this. And he simply repeats that two times in a row, exactly the same note for note. The second half of the riff right here is a different lick, but it uses a lot of the same pattern as far as the order that the strings go in, where the hammer-ons fall, and stuff like that. He's just using a different set of notes. This is something Brent does in a lot of his licks. The other lick in the intro here is going to start off with the 4th fret high E string, pulling off to open. Then play the 5 on the B. Then play the open high E. And then play the 5 on the B again, this time pulling to open. So now you have this. And then what you're going to do is to play the 4th fret G and 5th fret B. So now the front half of this sounds like this right here. Again, that's part of why this is so hard to figure out. How many different E notes in a row? E, 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 E. e. Two B's unison right there too. So many weird unison notes between the fretted and the open strings here. So after you play that, 
What you're gonna do is to play the fourth G, open B, hammering to five. Then do that move again, fourth G, open B, hammering to five. And then the last two things that he plays here are gonna be the high E open and that fifth B that you're already holding down. So the second section of this riff is. So lick number two of the intro should sound like this, and he plays it note for note twice in a row, just like he did the first lick. For me, that lick is confusing as all hell, so I think the best thing that I could do is to sit here for a second and play both licks two times each, just rotating through a bunch of times slowly so you guys can get some good practice in on it. One, two, three, four. Let's talk about the hybrid picking and stuff here a little bit. I can't tell you with 100% certainty which notes Brent is picking with his pick and which ones he's doing finger style. Uh, it looks in some of the live videos like he's using his middle and ring to play a lot of this stuff. Myself, I just use my middle finger. And honestly, you can play this entire riff fine without it, but I'll show you my approach to hybrid picking through this. <laughs> idea is that I'm using the hybrid picking to avoid a lot of unnecessary string crossing with the pick. I'll show you the way that I like to do it. Fifth high E will be an upstroke. Fourth B will be a downstroke. Open high E will be your middle finger hybrid picking. Fourth B pulling to open will be a downstroke. And then I want to get to this section right here where I'm going between the G and B strings a lot. Basically I'm going to be downstroking the sixth G and hybrid picking the B string notes like this. See how all the G string notes are a downstroke and all the B's, whether they are fourths or opens, will be the middle finger. And then the last two notes of the riff will be a downstroke on the 6G to your hybrid picked open high E string. I like doing that because that gives my pick time to get down here to restart the riff with a uh, upstroke. The second half of the riff here is pretty much the same idea, just different set of notes. So I'll start off with an upstroke, downstroke, hybrid, upstroke, downstroke, hybrid, downstroke, hybrid, downstroke, hybrid. And then this last part here, I like to do hybrid, down. And like I said, that's my way of hybrid picking it. It might not be 100% exactly like Brent's, but there you go. I'll be sure to put a little dot above all the notes that are hybrid picked on the tab and put traditional picking notation on there too. So whenever you find it on the Instagram page, be sure to pay very close attention to that. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars or on Facebook over at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And if you'd like to talk about booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. Leave me some comments below letting me know what riffs or licks you guys have been having trouble figuring out over the years, and I will get to them on a future episode. Stay tuned for another sick lick next week. Cheers, guys.